Hello everybody, welcome to another tarot reading. My name is Amber and this is Earthy Indigo. I hope that you are doing very well today or tonight or whenever it is that you are tuning in to this reading. Before we jump into the reading, just a few quick announcements. For information on how to book a personal reading with me, my social media, um, and my website, please do check out the information, um, the description box below. Down there you will also find information in any channel songs if any come through along with legal disclaimers and a little bit more information about me. Um, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across it is when you were meant to hear these messages. With that being said, I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy. Please use your own intuition and discernment to decide for yourself where this reading falls for you in your own personal journey. Anything that I say within this reading, any reading on my channel or on any other timeline is just my own personal advice and opinions, just things that I have learned on my own life journey, um, my own healing journey, and my own research, and my own life in general. Sorry, by the way, there's a little fly that is in here, um, and it's attracted to the ring light, so if you can see that, I hope it's not that annoying on your end, um, but yeah, it's summertime, and they come in when I take the plants outside to get sunlight, so there's nothing really much that I can do about it. Somewhere in here is probably a spider that'll get it. Um, but anyway, that's a tangent. I resonate with being a light worker, a star seed, an indigo, and a divine feminine, and I do pick up messages for those collectives. Um, I prefer the term divine partner to twin flame. Um, so if you hear me say that, it's basically the same thing. Um, I just personally feel like there's a lot of um, muddied waters, we'll say that, when it comes to the twin flame information that is out there. Um, but anyway, as always, use your own intuition and discernment. Please don't make the story fit if it doesn't, if um, not all of the messages are going to resonate with everybody that watches this, and that's okay. I think that's all that I have to say. Sorry for any background noise. My daughter and my dog are in the next room. Um, and I have neighbors, so hopefully nothing is too distracting and all messages that need to come through can come through for you. Thank you all very, very much for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. The channel's growth recently has been mind-blowing, um, and I wouldn't be able to do any of this without any of you. So thank you all very, very much for all of your liking, um, subscribing, and commenting, all of your support in general. All right, y'all, let's dive into this. So I have... A whole bunch of new decks. I told myself I'm gonna get a couple of new decks and I think I got like eight or six or I don't even know. I lost count. There's a lot. I got a lot more than I expected. So we're just gonna play cards and we're gonna see what comes out. So nothing is pre-shuffled. I literally just opened this and I was like I have to do a YouTube a YouTube video to show the collective the new cards. So all right we're gonna start off here with the Totally unofficial Adventure Time tarot deck. So I personally am a huge, gigantic fan of Adventure Time. I love that show, so I wanted to get the deck. Um, like I said, nothing is pre-shuffled, so we are going to shuffle a couple of times and see what comes out here. Um, and then based off of how the tarot goes, we're going to go and move forward with some Oracle cards. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to... I can't wait to use these decks in the channel, on um, Instagram, everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. All right, what messages do you have for us today? Let's talk, let's do a story. Story time, Ace of Wands. That's the second Ace that I've seen. Story time with Adventure Time, Mathematical. Okay, one more time. And I do have a clarifying deck, but we will get to that when we get to that. So, what story do you have for us today? The Hanged Man and the Chariot. Okay. So, Virgo and Cancer energy showing up. We also have the King of Swords, so air energy. So, somebody might be um, trying to, honestly, somebody might be trying to make a decision here. They might be thinking a lot about a decision. It could, we have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and then, and then the Knight of Cups. So the, somebody might be trying to make a decision regarding some sort of a connection, whether um, they might be trying to, it could be between two people. Honestly, they might be trying to decide between two people. Um, let's get some more information here, though. 
What is this decision? Clarify the chariot, please. The Tower and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Well, there you go. That's confirmation that it is a decision. It's, it's a life-changing decision of some sort, or this person feels like it. It, it, like it is a life-changing decision. Um, they might be having a difficult time finding words. Very interesting. Um, clarify. Four of coins, ten of coins, queen of swords. I'm being told to switch decks. Okay, so let's... Uh, 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 okay. Ten of coins, four of coins, queen of swords. Justice. So this person might honestly be trying to decide, um, uh, like I said in the beginning, it could have something to do with a connection. They might be holding on to something. Um, it could be a family connection. There could be um, a queen of swords involved here, or this person might be in the, a queen of swords energy. We'll get some more clarity on that. Um, this could be you. This could be somebody within your energy. Take it how it resonates. Flip it, switch it, reverse it. If I say things like he, she, masculine, feminine, I'm talking about energy. I'm not talking about gender. Um, if you are looking for a traditional tarot reader, this is not the right channel for you. I am not a traditional tarot, tarot reader. I have been reading tarot for over um, 20 years, but I am an intuitive reader and an energy reader. I know the meaning of behind the cards, but I feel the energy. Um, and I get a lot of messages from the imagery on the cards themselves. So this um, deck that we're using right now is Rosy Future Tarot. Sorry for the background noise. I think that may have been my daughter. Um, but I'm not sure. Could have been a neighbor too. So Rosy Future Tarot is what we're clarifying with um, right now. And I'm wondering how we're going to do this. I think I'm just going to start like clarifying the cards that I want to clarify. And we're going to go from there. We're just going to wing it, y'all. Like Applebee's. <laughs> what? Does Applebee's have wings? I don't know. They don't have an Applebee's by me. Let's do one more time. Okay. The star. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Somebody might be healing. We have Judgment. Scorpio as well. We also have, um, with Justice, we have Libra. And then the Tower, we have um, Scorpio as well. And then Air Energy with the Swords. And Earth with the coins okay i want to okay so this person that we're reading on queen of pentacles so whoever this is whether this is you or somebody within your energy is trying to make a decision that they feel is a um maybe they've already made the decision i'm just saying that because this on the tower card, if you if you know the show Adventure Time, I watch the show a whole lot. So I'm a, I'm a very um, avid. I know I know it very well. Um, this is the um, the lich, and the, they like it's an accident. They like accidentally let him loose. Um, ben and Jake do, and it kind of like they almost they almost destroy the world by doing that. So it could be something that maybe they feel like they made a decision poorly in the past. And then here too with the chariot, these are like, um, I can't remember what, what she calls them. This is Susan Strong and I, and she lives underground. Um, and these shadow creatures are like, they're like bad guys that live in like pool floaties. They could, there could be something here to do about shadow work too. Can we clarify the tower was, is this past or present? The tower, the past or present? We have the four of pentacles and the three of cups. And the six of cups. Okay, so it's something from the past. So in the past, somebody made a poor decision. Maybe this is something that's weighing heavily on their mind right now. Maybe there's a similar decision coming up. Um, okay, so why... 
with the chariot and the seven of cups here, this feels to me like there's a decision that needs to be made. Why is this here then? Why is this coming up right now? Why um, clarify the chariot and the seven of cups? The Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. So somebody's thinking about making a decision um, to come forward. Maybe to communicate with somebody. This could be some sort of like fast action. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it could be quick communication. It could be passionate communication as well. Um, with the Four of Cups, somebody might be... They might be upset about something. There could be an apology ne that's necessary. So why is all of this coming up right now? Why is this coming up right now? If this is from the past, the Fool and the Four of Cups. Hmm. The Nine of Swords. So somebody didn't... Okay. It's very possible that somebody... made a decision in the past that was that caused a tower moment of some kind within their life um this person may have um entered into some sort of a hermit or hanged man position it could be hermit too um where they just kind of like went inward did some reflecting saw things from a different perspective maybe even like for some grew up a little bit gained some wisdom um, they might be thinking back now on this decision and um, and thinking about what they could have missed, like a missed opportunity, like what could have been. What could have been. Ten of Coins and the Four of Coins. It's possible that this um, person walked away from somebody. I mean, obviously, if there was a decision, they had to have walked away from somebody. There could have been there could have been a lot of betrayal. There's a lot of swords here. They could have um, there could have been a lot of betrayal in some way or another. There could have been other people involved too, because the Three of Cups keeps coming out. So why is the Ten of Coins and the Four of Coins here? Is this the present or is this still talking about this past situation? The Eight of Cups and the Devil. Yeah, okay. So Capricorn energy showing up here. Also Aries energy with the Fool. So, um, I mean, this is the past. They walked away from, they're looking back on what they walked away from and what could have been. They could have moved towards another connection. I'm going to read it like that because that's usually the case. So apply how it resonates for you. They could have moved towards another connection. It could be this Queen of Swords here. Um, it could be a karmic, a karmic connection too. It could have something to do with money because I'm noticing that this devil has a pentacle ta tattoo on its arm. So it could have something to do with money um, as to why this connection this connection. Why they chose this person. They might be having a hard time letting go of it. It might be, um, they might think of it as being some, yeah, it might be letting go of this um, situation, this connection. It could even be a job for some. Um, it might be too, uh, it might cause too much conflict or, or chaos. It might um, affect their finances for some as well. Can we get another card on the devil? You have to throw it on the ground. Hold on. We have death. And the six of pentacles. And the chariot. And the hangman again. Yeah. And the ten of pentacles. It's literally almost like exactly the same cards. They, um, this person feels like they ended. It's, they put an ending to it. 
the devil and death. It would have been very, um, whatever situation they moved towards, to be very toxic. For others of you, this person might be ending a toxic connection. It's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on um, how this resonates for you and who this is for you. So for some of you, this, this could be talking about a toxic connection um, or a karmic connection. I apologize. A karmic connection that you disconnected from in the past. Um, you know, maybe you chose this karmic connection over another connection um, or, you know, just... You know, I heard we're dumb when we're young. So it could have been somebody that, like, a connection from when you were young, you know, and, you know, just hindsight is twenty twenty, and we learn things and we grow. Um, it, it could be that. For others of you, this could be somebody else within your, within your connection, or it could be somebody that you might be meeting soon. For others of you, this might be resonating for you as somebody who chose somebody else over you. So it's going to, it's really going to depend on, um, you know, how it resonates for you. Because there's a lot of different um, possibilities here. So we have the Queen of Swords and we have Justice. So, good old karma showing up, being the Queen of Swords. Clarify, please. The Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. Okay, so somebody's getting in the Ace of Cups. Somebody's getting good karma here. Um, somebody it might be getting really good karma when it comes to connections. Um, in the in the romantic field, it could be because you've healed something. It could be because of this of having gone through whatever this was. Because, like, I believe, and this is my own personal belief, so you can take this or you can leave this. But I believe in soul connection. So I believe that before we incarnate, we um, it more or less um, to make it easier to understand, create contracts with different souls for different purposes. So. You know, whether it's a soulmate where it's positive karma or it's a karmic or a false twin, it's still, um, you know, a contract what, because lessons needed to be learned. And having to go through these situations is really unpleasant um, in the moment, but for the soul growth, it's really necessary um, for, for both individuals, <clears throat> honestly. So it could have something to do with that. Could have to do with um, learning the lessons, putting in the work, doing the healing. But there's a new connection coming in here. I think that karma is serving up a new connection. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. I mean, that's the Hierophant can talk about marriage. You can also talk about, um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling for some of you, like, there could have been some, like, spiritual wounds, too. I'm being drawn to the dove on the Ace of Cups, and my heart chakra is just, like, um, really clearing right now. I'm getting, like, the hiccup, so sorry about that. Um, whatever's coming in, it, it's wish fulfillment. I feel like you're showing up as the, or whoever this is resonating for, is showing up as the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, um, you know, because they went through what they went through. And I'm noticing this card right here wanting to peek out. The Ace of Swords. Again, there's some sort of truth coming in. Six of Wands. About a victory. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. King of... King of Wands. Are you kidding me? We have a couple. We have a straight up couple here. It could be somebody that you walked away from. For, for some of you, this really could be somebody that you walked away from with the Eight of Cups. Um, wow, there's clarity coming in in victory. That's, in, that's, 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 we're going to just leave that there. Okay. Um, so what should we do now? Let's see. 
we have what are these character oracles let's get that so let's get some um to see like who this person could be who these people might be how it resonates maybe to pick up on you who knows just got a bunch of different characteristics so we'll get a few of these oh these are very stiff cards and see what comes through i don't know about you guys but i really like these cards so far i really like the um what are these called the rosy future tarot they're very colorful i like it i just can't stop looking at them it makes me want to paint i'm actually going to paint this evening once it cools down my daughter wants me to teach her how to do blending so we're gonna try and do some painting if you're curious ah, what are your plans this evening drop it in the comments or this morning or this day whenever you are tuning in i hope that you are having a great day night evening whatever twilight <laughs> all right let's get some characteristics please oh holy guacamole that is a whole lot all right so this is a sticky deck so we may have to just pull from the middle um just a few please okay let's go one more okay two more Ooh. okay so the first one that came out is a doctor a doctor i'm getting that song um you put the lime in the coconut mix it all up put the lime in the coconut uh healer of ailments treatment surgery diagnosis compassion so somebody might be in the medical field we have a blacksmith okay all right we did get a lot of swords at one point Forge, melting, shaping, tempering. Okay, I feel like that could talk about, um, that might just not talk about, that might be more than just metal. You know what I mean? Like, that might be metaphoric. Um, somebody might be a teacher. That's interesting. Because of the shaping the, and the, um, you know, tempering, they might be, like, shaping people's minds. We have singer. Ooh. Oh, it dropped. Hold up. Wait, can I get it? Okay, singer. Resonance, moving hearts, harmony, emotion, performance. So somebody could be a singer or a performer of some sort or something, do something within like the music or the, maybe even performing arts. Theater. And then we have diviner, diviner. I think it might be diviner. I don't know. A uh, tarot reader, a seer, <laughs> someone like me, seer of the unseen, foresight, insight, cosmic connection. Oh, I'm getting um, Aladdin, uh, genie, infinite cosmic, what is it, what is it that, they, that he says? I can't remember. Something, something. Itty bitty leaving space. All right, moving on. Moving on. What should we do now? Should we do some romance and love? Let's do romance and love. Romance and love oracle cards. Pardon me while I play with the box. If you are looking for scripted and edited, that's not here. I edit the end and the beginning because you don't want to see me get up a hundred times and make sure it's still on or pause for my daughter to get snacks. Um, and I edit if I have to get up and like pick up the cards or deal with an emergency. Like that. That happens sometimes and they go, but they go off of the table. 
But anyway, this is unedited and unscripted. And if you say edited enough times, it starts to sound really weird. Words are fun. Edited. Does anybody here listen to Train? I, I'm getting a Train song. Um, it's the Wings of a Butterfly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On the back of a butterfly. There's no better way to fly than get me. I look around what I got without you, it ain't lost. I got everything with you, everything. So there could be distance between you and this person, whoever these messages are from. Take them how they resonate. Um, maybe it is this person we're reading on. Maybe it's this Ace of Cups that's coming in for you. I don't know. If you want to pause and take a minute to think about your person, feel free to do that. We have four cards. So four could be significant. Somebody could definitely be a cancer. So the first card we have is abundance. Open your heart to receive the abundant love the universe has to offer. <clears throat> Doorway. An opportunity is about to present itself that leads you to a new person. That's the Ace of Cups. Literally, y'all, for real, confirmation. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak. Aw. Heartbreak is a part of the human experience. It will pass. And romance. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. Y'all, for real, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you got new love showing up or you got someone coming back wanting a, to offer an Ace of Cups. Take it how it resonates for you. For you. Okay, what else should we do? I think that's it on that. Let's go. I wanted to get some of these. Which one should we start with? Though? Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's do this one. We're going to get some angel numbers. So these are going to be for you, the viewer. And then we're going to end it with the... Uh, I can't see the name of the deck. We're going to end it with the deck whose name I cannot see. Sorry for that noise. That is my air freshener. Um, it's on an automatic timer and it goes off every 40 minutes. Um, sometimes it scares me. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes it doesn't. But yeah. All right, let's get some angel numbers. 717 on the bottom of the deck. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to do your own research as well. I highly recommend that if anything does call out for you or is a sign, do a quick Google search, you know, grab a book, whatever it is that you do. Um, look it up, you know. There's nothing wrong with getting like, one or two or three or four or five different opinions, you know, and go with what resonates with you or, you know, however you do it, whatever your process is. I'm just saying. Um, we have uh, 8888 eight, eight, eight on the bottom of the deck. 8888. Eight, eight. All right. Holy cannolis. Okay. We're going to get just a few more. All right. We're going to stop there. That feels like a good one to stop on. I'm going to actually read that one first. Because I feel like it might be a very significant year for some as well. So the number is 2020. Which, um, as we all know, was probably a very, I guess we could say, global tower moment. Um, <laughs> so 2020. Compassion. Mercy. Diplomacy. Potential. Service. Recovery. Adaptability and renewal. It is a confirmation that your assumptions and beliefs are correct, but it's also an encouragement to use your talents and gifts because they will benefit the world and your pockets. Be of service to others. Your potential is enormous. Mm. And then we have 1414. Light, light up. Mood swings, respect, family, constructive outlook, quality. Focus on your needs, desires, and hobbies. Everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities, 
a new friend, or an addition to your family. Good vibes will speed up the process. Definitely somebody coming in for y'all. No way. We have 44, 44, 44. Four, 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 four. Blessings in disguise. Obstacles, hardships, strength, building character, and experience. There might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor. If you've been suffering or feeling lost, wait, it just repeated itself. Anyway, sorry. Typo. Um, some things may fall apart, but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. And then we have 0909. New beginnings, great chance, opportunity, courage, accomplishment, endings, conclusions, and big love. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are co completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. Yes. I think for some of you, it's going to be in romance. It's going to be in the romantic sector. Okay, so this um, is called the Azure. 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 I'm not saying that right. I apologize. Uh, Oracle cards. And it does have a guidebook, which I will be reading from. Because I want to also look how pretty it's silver. Do you see? It's my first gilded one. I feel so fancy. Okay. If you can't tell, I'm like extremely excited about all of these. And if you follow me on Instagram, be prepared for a lot of many readings in the future. Seen on YouTube first. <laughs> I got to show it over here first. I, got, I just got too excited. I was like, nope, I got to do it. I didn't even shovel any of them. I wasn't sure what I was going to do or which ones. I just knew I was going to use them all. All right. So because we're going to read from the guidebook, I'm going to only try to get like one or two. So hopefully that will work. If these get sticky, then we'll just pull from the middle. All right. One or two, please. Messages. For the collective to say good night or good morning to end the reading. Thank you. We got two. Okay. So the first one we have is the number 53 Choose Foods Wisely. Help yourself and the planet by reconsidering what you eat. Okay. And then we have, oh, we have number 54. So we have um, progression, 53 and 54. Bless everyone and everything. The people that need blessing are the, sorry, the people that need blessing the most are the ones that push your buttons. Yeah. For real. All right, so let's pull out the guidebook here and let's go with number 53. Okay. 53. Choose food wisely your angels would like to bring your attention to lighter types of food such as those in a vegan vegetarian pescatarian or plant-based diet are there any foods that you are curious about that you could introduce to your diet could you replace some meats with vegetarian options a couple of nights a week i have to change the page Vegans prefer to eat foods which exclude anything that would involve the exploitation or cruelty to animals, and that is a noble cause. They view all animals as conscious beings. Spiritual, spiritual pe people, sorry, sp 
Spiritual people who want to lessen their karmic footprint often prefer a lighter style of eating. Source is continually sending energetic upgrades through the ethers, and we can more readily take in those energies when we have been consuming a lighter diet. Be sure that this is only ever your choice, and you are never judged for your choices, although other people can be very judgmental. We all have free choice. All right. And then, number 54. Bless everyone and everything. You have the power to change people's lives for the better. When you go about your day, if you see someone in need, send them a blessing. When there's someone pushing your buttons and making you angry or in your face doing the wrong thing, bless them and send them love. Instead of complaining about all the distressing things you see in the world, use your power and bless every single bad thing. You see with something better, wait, and bless every single bad thing you see with something better for them. This is living in service and connecting to your divine power, connecting with God, source, spirit, to raise the vibration of the earth and yourself. Apply this as you go through your day. If you're driving in traffic and you see someone driving a car that is very old and falling apart, ask the angels to get them a new car or the money to fix it up and know that it is done. If there is someone driving dangerously, white light them. If you are watching the news and hear of people getting extremely hurt, can't say that word on YouTube, fatally hurt, in an accident or other misfortune, send your family love and comfort and know that it's done. Or send their family, sorry. If you see a person without a home on the street, give them some cash or food. If you have any and if you don't have anything, ask the angels to give them a home, somewhere warm to sleep and food for their stomachs, and know that it's done. Remember, you get back all the blessings you send out tenfold. All right, y'all, those are all the messages that I have for you. Thank you so very much for tuning in and playing with my new tarot cards with me. I hope that you liked them and that they resonated and were helpful. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I hope you have a great day or night or whenever it was you were tuning in to this reading, and I'll see you in the next one.